Start by adjusting machine settings until reaching a desired clean grain sample. Once you've obtained a sample that you are happy with, press the set performance target button. Time required for the machine to obtain its performance target varies based on crop quality, throughput, and terrain. In our example, we were running in a consistent field of wheat with very little terrain variance while making half mile rounds and harvesting anywhere from 2.8 to 3.3 miles per hour in high performing dry crop. Our machine used approximately two rounds totaling about eight and a half minutes to find and set its target. You'll notice after the set performance target is pressed, a gray spinning circle will appear on the right hand side of the display. This indicates that the machine is setting its target. Once the target has been set, the gray circle will no longer be visible. Instead, a blue circle will appear every time the machine is making an adjustment. Coupled with the blue circle, the settings that the combine are changing will turn blue on the current setting screen. Once AutoMaintain sets its target, you can go into Harvest Smart and ensure that the engine power limiter, ground speed limiter, and aggressiveness are set at factors that you find appropriate. We'll cover these in more detail shortly. It's important to note that a manual number cannot be entered into the target pressure and that the calibration must be completed first. To initiate the Harvest Smart calibration, start by pressing the number two or three on the hydro handle. The calibration process is automatic and the machine will surge forward and backwards to set a rotor pressure target. While Harvest Smart is finding the target for rotor pressure, you'll notice a gray circle on the right side of the screen, similar to Auto Maintain. This indicates that the machine is currently calibrating Harvest Smart. You may notice that the gray circle will disappear and reappear multiple times during this calibration. As we mentioned previously, while Harvest Smart is searching for its target pressure, the machine will surge back and forth. After a target has been set, you'll see a percentage number on the Harvest Smart bar that represents the position of the hydro handle, zero being neutral and 100 being all the way forward. When the calibration is complete, there will be a notification as well as the number in the rotor pressure box. An operator can now adjust the target pressure for more aggressive or more docile machines. You'll notice on our display you can see the blue percentage number we were talking about earlier to indicate the hydro handle position as well as flashing engine power icon on the right side. This indicates that we are hitting our engine power limiter. You may also notice a blue circle to indicate that the hydro handle position is being modified. Previously we mentioned limiters. Here you can see the engine power limiter, ground speed limiter, and aggressiveness. Engine power limiter sets the maximum preferred engine power before it slows the combine down. Ground speed limiter will set a maximum ground speed combine will travel which was best noticed on dry hilltops where crop was thin. Aggressiveness is how aggressively the combine will react to changing conditions. Aggressiveness can be set from positive to a negative 10. A positive 10 is the most aggressive and a negative 10 is the most docile. Operators can play with this adjustment to fine tune how their machine reacts. On a typical day, this is what an operator will see while using Harvest Smart. The video is sped up to two times speed to show the difference in the engine power speed and hydro handle position, all while being automatically adjusted by Harvest Smart. From our experience, we found that best practice for coming in and out of headlands into the crop is to engage auto track by hitting auto track button three quarters of the way through the turn. Drop the header into auto header height control by hitting number two on the hydro handle and moving the hydro handle backwards slightly to disable Harvest Smart. Wait until crop is flowing into the machine before re-enabling Harvest Smart to prevent overloading the combine. As a point of reference, we waited a combine length before re-enabling Harvest Smart by hitting number two on the hydro handle again. We also found that when unloading on the go, the best practice is to disable Harvest Smart by moving the hydro handle slightly to assume manual control over speed before the grain cart operator approaches the combine. Thank you for taking the time to watch our tutorial on Harvest Smart. We'd like to hear if you have any other best practices or tricks that you found work really well with Harvest Smart. If so, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for your business.